Hey Gemini, what's up gang? I hope everybody is well. We're gonna go ahead and do a general message. We're gonna do a past, present, and future. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have any information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe, you tribe. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Okay, Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. I hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support, Gemini. Thank you for all the good vibes, okay? You guys really do mean the world to me, and it really does mean the world to me. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and get into this. Knight of Pentacles want to show its face. King of Pentacles on the bottom. Um, I just can't wait to be king. Lion King is coming through. Leo season could definitely be significant. There could be a, a redemption type of energy too. Bob Marley redemption song could be significant. But I am getting like an energy of like a redemption. Like I just can't wait to be king. And then he goes through all that crap and it's like he redeems himself. You know, there's some kind of redeeming quality here or redeeming energy. I am getting that. Yes. I was feeling it. Dogwood Blossoms. This is one of the only uh, decks that actually kind of grazed the guidebook. And that card is like the Three of Cups. It is like reconciliation, um, sacrificing the ego and need to be right to connect or reconnect. It's also about forgiveness. The dogwood uh, being the tree that Jesus was crucified well, the wood that Jesus was crucified on. All right, what do we have here? Gemini, please. Past energy for Gemini, please. Let's get some past energy. We have the alligator coming out, okay? So silence, introspection. Some of you are coming out of silence, possibly, but let's, let's, not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just talk about the past. There's this energy of pausing, an energy of assessing something. You know, I say it all the time with predators, they don't want to give too much energy if they don't know that they're gonna hit their target. Why? Because they don't know if they have that energy to sustain another attack. So if they're not like, I don't know how much an animal gauges its chances, right? But if they're not fucking sure, they're not, most, most predators are not going to expel that energy. They're just not going to, okay? Because they don't, they don't know if they're gonna be able to do it again and they need to survive. That's how they eat is to attack, okay? So there is this energy here of that, of like wanting to jump on something, Gemini, or having a moment of pause, having a moment of silence. Some of you guys are having a moment of silence because something just didn't work out the way that you wanted to. I'm getting a very grumpy freaking alligator here, ready to snap, okay? Is that a snapling turtle or is that an alligator? You let me know, okay? Yeah, there's this energy of wanting to pounce on something, like feeling a little pissed, feeling a little bit like, how dare they, right? Like there's that kind of energy. Like the audacity, I'm getting that kind of energy. But that's why I'm feeling there's like a redeeming that is coming in here though, Gemini. Like I feel it. Like there's gonna be a redeeming type of energy here. Some of you guys could be watching like a lot of church on TV or listening to gospel on your way to work or just while you're working out or something. I'm getting this energy of wanting to be motivated, wanting to listen to things that are motivating to you. You know, like wanting to get that pep talk. Okay, so we have introspection and silence. Some of you guys are just, I'm getting this energy with this alligator really looking at something like, mm, I'm looking at you, I'm paying attention to this situation, I'm sussing this out. Some of you, there is this energy of silently watching something or silently assessing something without it knowing. Um, this could be a person, this could be a situation. For others of you, this could be in this past energy, this could be reverse. This could be what was happening to you. There was a gator around you that was just watching you, like trying to assess if it was gonna go after it or not. This could be somebody looking at you for a job position or a relationship even perhaps, I don't know. Or maybe they thought you were an easy mark, Gemini, I'm gonna be real. But there is this moment of pause before we make a decision. I feel like that's this past energy that you were in. Going inside and really trying to figure out what you do want to put your energy into, like, you know? I'm getting carpe diem, like, seize the day, too. Like, do I really want to sit here and wait for a duck to float by or whatever? Or do I want to go find my own meal? Like, maybe I don't feel like having whatever is on the menu today. Maybe I want to go create my menu. There's some kind of energy like that, too, in the past that we're getting here. I mean, I don't know. 
Maybe the alligator is cool with whatever just happens to hop in front of it. But I feel like what if it's it's what if it's craving turtle? I don't know. Maybe alligators crave turtle. Maybe alligators crave, I don't know, beavers. I don't know, guys. Okay. Anyways, that's just kind of energy they're giving me. Like maybe you're just trying to decide. I don't know. Let's get into the present. What's going on in the present for Gemini, please? The present for Gemini. Okay. Present energy for Gemini, please. What's going on right now? Oh, Lord. Empress energy. We'll take it. <laughs> it's soldiers in your cup. For some of you, I'm getting that energy. It needs to go together. Two cards. Black coffee, shadow work, awakening with the peach, fertility, and love. Some of you guys are awakening to your power right now. You're awakening to the energy that you are, that bad bee, male or female. Uh, some of you had to go through something very harsh, something very drastic to open your eyes. Okay, something might have had to shock you almost to see your worth or to step into your worth. There could have been that energy here of that. Some of you went through a download most recently because this is present energy. Like you're going through a download where you're being given some kind of codes or some kind of, I'm getting that. I don't feel like it's light codes. I did look into that a little bit after somebody suggested that I do. It's almost like a spiritual talking in tongues is what I got. I have talked in tongues before, but not since I was a devout Christian back in the day. Okay. But that's kind of what I got from that a little bit. Like you channel almost. Um, some of you, I'm getting a different kind of codes though. I'm almost getting like Akashic Records or um, like some kind of <sighs> blueprint almost to figure something out. There's a download that comes through that shows you the way, Gemini. There's an awareness that comes over you that's about to show you the way. Like you are about to get some kind of support from spirit that's gonna show up in a very physical way for you. For others of you, yeah, you're just awakening to your confidence or you're feeling like very confident suddenly. Uh, maybe you, some of you don't feel like you have a reason to feel confident right now, but you do, okay? There's also this kind of harsh energy for some of you guys, like a rude awakening. Um, that even you, they're giving me that Dita Von Teese quote that, you know, you could be the juiciest, ripest, sweetest peach, but then there's always going to be somebody who says they don't like peaches, which is true. For so, for some of you guys, there's been a rude awakening of like, but I'm a peach, I don't know why you, would, and I don't even feel like this, is, I really don't feel like this is in regards to a person. I feel like this is like an opportunity or something like maybe feeling like, but why wouldn't you? Or, you know, there's a rude awakening that even though you're ripe for the picking, doesn't mean you're always going to get picked. Like I'm getting that energy very strongly. Some of you, I just heard, uh, gotta have faith. When I saw the psalm book, rejoicing in faith. Yeah. Like you gotta have faith is the energy that I'm getting. Like moving forward, let's see what we got moving forward into the future for Gemini. What's happening in the future for Gemini, please? Influence and support. Didn't I say that you guys have support coming in and there it is. Help is on the way, Mrs. Doubtfire. Why? Because you're having faith. It's not only because you're having faith, but it doesn't hurt, right? You could, while you wait, you could be stressed and anxious filled or you could just be surrendering it and knowing that it's all going to come together anyway. I mean, the choice is yours, Gemini. That's kind of what I'm getting. That could be the rude awakening that you're having right now, because even if it's not so rude, I'm getting a very vibrant awakening. I'm getting the energy here of somebody who's like, they're seeing, like, I have a lot to offer actually. <laughs> like, and even though this didn't work out or even though it feels like it's one thing after another, or there's been some birthing pains with this fertility, cause I get the Empress. And I always get like you creating something and it, it causing some kind of, there's birthing pains with everything that you're trying to create, Gemini. And I feel like there's this energy of here of like, actually, I know that I have a lot to offer. That's what I'm saying. Like rejection or this feeling here of an aw a rude awakening, some kind of harsh reality or harsh truth or awareness that's come through here, Gemini, with the shadow work that you've been doing in the now, it's causing you to see your actual power. And if this was caused by somebody else where they were hoping to kind of destroy your power, because we do have that lurking energy here, Gemini, and we do have roots. So if there was somebody who was trying to possibly manipulate a situation, doesn't have to be with dark arts, I'm just saying, if there was somebody who was trying to do that, I feel like it actually had a reverse effect on you. But that's how it is when you're dealing with divine beings. Like we can, we are alchemists, right? 
So we take what you give us and we turn it into something completely new. And that's the energy here. Like somebody might have thought that they had you, Gemini, or that they were going to get you, or there was something like that here. Not for everybody, but for somebody. And I do feel that energy. But anyways, in the future here, we have support. Look at you. I literally, the crow dashed hopes in mourning. And then I saw the psalm book again. Like for some of you, you were waiting for something that just never came, but it was protection. I just saw the armadillo basket, fierce protection. You had support in something, Gemini, okay? Whether you saw it that way or not. So that's kind of what I'm getting here. Let's get a little bit more deeper into this with some tarot. Let's look into this alligator very briefly because I don't like to spend too much time looking back at the past, but it is important because the past can tell us where we are moving forward, right? Yeah, I told you, for some of you, there was something that happened. This alligator is grumpy as hell, man. He's mad. He's salty as hell. Thought you were a freshwater gator. There's something about this gator that's very salty here. I feel like um, there's this energy here of like something did not work out or something went down that it just, it was a betrayal. It felt like a stab in the back for some of you or it felt like, damn, was that really necessary? Like, was it necessary? Like, I'm, I'm getting that, but I'm getting something who's like, is that necessary? Was that necessary? I don't know why I'm getting that energy, but somebody is really like, was that necessary? I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Like somebody who's really pissed. Like, why did you even do that? Like really in deep thought, stewing over something. Swamp stew? Ew. I'm getting that energy for some of you guys. Like really stewing. Yes. Look at the, look at the energy, Gemini. Really stewing over something. Like really feeling like, was that necessary though? Okay. <laughs> I don't know, Gemini. That's what I'm getting though, a big letdown or a betrayal or a loss or like a, the end of something that was just like the rug being swept up under you or they're giving me that time that I was running back around the side of my dad's uh, work truck and bam, smack my head right into a damn pole that was hanging out the back of his truck. Like I didn't see that shit coming, boy. Yes, they laughed after they made sure I was okay, but like I did not see it coming. I was running around like, wee, bam, right into the freaking pole. Like, so I don't know. That's the energy they, they just gave me that vision when that happened. So I feel like the rug was swept up under you or you just ran right into it or you weren't expecting it. So now you're deep you, now. Well, now this is the past, but take these readings as they resonate guys. But in the past, it's like, but there's this thought about it now. There's this introspection. Like after it happened, you took a moment to think about this you know, and to come down to some kind of conclusion about it, to try to see some kind of reasoning or just energy here for why this would happen. Like, I, I feel like there is a moment of silence that was taken here. For some of you, there was a literal moment of silence because something got, I don't know, what it, what happened there, Gemini? But something happened, okay? And there was a damn moment of silence, I'm just saying. All right, like I said, I don't wanna to look too much into the past because we already know, clearly, we get it. Okay, we see what happened. It was a big letdown. And then you took a moment to pause for the cause. Okay, and see what direction or what you want to put your energy into next. Some of you, there is definitely this energy of like, sending your negative thoughts up into the universe or feeling like, woe is me. I mean, I get it. I'm not judging y'all. That's for damn sure. Okay, so what is this peach energy with this black coffee? This is almost like a shock back into your, your, your uh, empress energy. Yes. Sail away. It is though, okay? It's like a shock back into your Empress energy. Some of you guys, after this rest and rejuvenation, because this is current energy and current energy can last for, damn, forever. Can't it though? Aren't we always, like just for a moment, just on some side shit, aren't we always in the, in the present? Are we ever in the future? Do we ever reach this future they tell us about? Because aren't we always in the present? Yeah, the future is tomorrow, sure, but tomorrow, won't I be in the present? I don't know, Gemini. Just something to just nibble on there for a second. But I get this energy here of like sailing away, okay? Into the to a calmer future here. Look at that, that's 10. 10 and 10, they're like, oh, add this up for a second. Wow. Okay, I'm getting the energy here, Gemini, of in the past, 
like you experienced this 10 of swords that you're experiencing right now. You're still in this energy. So for some of you, this happened, it was very recent or it doesn't matter if it was recent, it still feels kind of recent, okay? You're just processing it differently now. Because whereas before you couldn't see anything, any reasoning, any just energy, like I was saying, with the alligator taking a moment of silence to really introspect and look at this, there's this energy here of in the present, being able to almost with this awareness that has came through, through your shadow work, seeing the good, seeing the positives, or seeing at least why this has had to happen, transitioning out of this. With this 10 swords here, you are recognizing that something hurts or something sucks or it's, it's you know, you've been through a battle here. I mean, look at her. She's dirty. She's bruised up. She's all cut up. You know, she's in the nest. So the nest is a very much a protective type of energy, you know. And so there's this energy here of like, you know, you're trying to protect yourself. You're trying to get yourself mentally set for what you know is next. Because now that there's been this sense of almost a tower that's come through, you know that what's next is you really have to pick yourself up and move forward, you know, to sail away, literally, for some of you guys, into, because it's the future and you don't know yet. For some of you with this roots, I'm getting a heavy, like, mystical <clears throat> manifestation type of energy of, like, you, we don't know exactly what is in the future. We're going to pull on it, okay? But there's this energy of, like, not exactly knowing necessarily just knowing knowing that you're getting the support that you need and you're being influenced meaning you're being guided okay spirit is showing you i'm almost getting like the nudges like of go this way go to go see about that go look into this like it's it's like that okay but yeah you're still in this ten of swords energy in the present but you're just processing it in a different way you're seeing it in a different way because of your perception shift that happened through this shadow work that you're doing because of this awareness this awakening that's come over you gemini you're able to separate this ten of swords and see you know see maybe the lessons see maybe the cycles that you're cleansing out and what you're trying to move past the healing that has happened through this because sometimes it, it hurts to heal you know I'm just saying. All right. Roots. What is this for Gemini in the future? This influence, this support that's coming in because I feel it very strongly. For some of you, you are being guided on a journey. Like you're being guided towards this. That's what I'm getting with the influence. Guided by the moon, guided by the light I'm getting too. Page of Cups. I told you your intuition is really guiding you because you don't see the way, Gemini. Moving into the future, you do not see the way. And it's not that all hope is lost or anything like that. I'm not getting that at all. I actually feel like you have a, a renewed sense of worth and passion and like anything is possible. In this very moment, since you're coming, this is, it feels like it's very recent here. So some of you, you're like right here in this middle spot. <laughs> You're like, yeah, this resonates and this does feel like this could definitely resonate in maybe a week or two. So right now you're like right here, okay? But I'm getting this energy here, Gemini, of that. Like you don't, it doesn't look like all is lost, but there is like a lack of clarity though. So there's that energy of you gotta have faith, the faith, that's what they keep playing, okay? I keep hearing that. You gotta have faith, the faith. That's what I keep hearing. So I don't know, Gemini. Maybe you gotta have faith, okay? Maybe you just need to believe. I don't, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Some of you, but that's some of you guys are like, really? Uh, listen, you're watching a lady on YouTube playing with cards. I don't know how much you were expecting from this, but that's what I'm getting. For some of you, there's a need to have faith, like because things are going to work out. You're being supported. You're being influenced. You're being shown the way. Chariot. Thank you, spirit. Through this anxiety that you're feeling right now, because that's what I feel like you're feeling right now. You know, you're trying to process this and I get like this inner energy of compartmentalizing your pain and your trauma that you've been through. Like, okay, well, this trauma goes over here with this and this trauma goes over here with that. Like, I don't know, Gemini, you know, damn, sometimes being in y'all's energy is like, I get it, but it's like, damn, it can be like a maze sometimes trying to guide yourself through with this cherry in this page of cups. I do feel like there is opportunity coming. There's going to be more options than you're aware of, Gemini. You do have some choices coming up, honey. You may not feel like it right now, but you do. Some of you want to listen. Some of you, by the time this opportunity comes to you, you're going to be barefoot, wild, just jumping on this opportunity, ghost riding the whip. That's the energy I'm getting, like no holding back like riding forward on top of the chariot, like not even taking time to get into the chariot. He's on top of it. 
Like there's like a whole space that he can get in. It's got a nice little curtain and everything. No, he's he's riding on top of it. It's almost like they're giving me the energy of like when people used to jump the trains to get from place to place. I don't know, maybe they still do. But I don't know. I'm getting the energy of like jumping on the train as it's going by. That's what some of you guys are going to be experiencing in the future. There is going to definitely be this energy of, I don't normally get this with this, but like packing up all your belongings, going on a journey, taking a leap of faith, jumping the train is kind of what I'm getting, like jumping on the train, taking the opportunity as it's flying by, because I feel like it is. For some of you, this opportunity is just going to come, and it's like, I got to take it. That's what I'm getting, Gemini, okay? Yeah, King of Swords. I feel like you're you're trying to use the best of both worlds, right? You are actually in, listen, you're in two minds about something when this happens in the future, but it's actually like in two sound minds, okay? You got the Kings here. You got the King of Cups and you got the King of Swords. So you are trying to fill this out intuitively, but you're also trying to look at this logically. So I'm getting the energy of like balanced, even though you're approaching it from two different like aspects or two different ways, it's still balanced, Gemini. And may I say, only a Gemini could do that, okay? Like, I'm going to look at this logically and spiritually at the same time and come up with a damn conclusion. And that's what you need, too. The light and dark pony to move forward. But your intuition is definitely guiding you. I'm also getting with this page of cups. Don't be afraid to believe in miracles. Because this has this energy of, like, when pigs fly. Well, pigs might be fucking flying, Gemini. For some of you, something's going to come back around that you were, um, you were denied from. Okay, um, this could be like somebody turned you down for something, an opportunity or relationship, whatever. It comes back around. For some of you, this could come back around in like the same way, like the same company, the same person. Or for some of you, the situation, like what you were expecting or wanting out of that situation, it's coming around, but in a different package. Okay, but yeah, I'm getting this energy of when pigs fly, like well, pigs might be flying. I don't know, I'm getting that energy, like when pigs fly. They might be flying though, okay? Yeah, because I feel like there's been a lot of conflicts here. So in the future here, we do see a lot of work. We do see you believing in your dreams, taking chances. We do see you climbing out of the pit or putting a lot of energy into something. And we see change with this five of wands here, okay? We are seeing change that's happening. And you trying to decide if this is change that... Um, you can really make it through because I feel like you're tired, but that's why spirit is wanting you to kind of rest here. We see that in the present. Allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself to relax because there's a lot of action that's coming up here that's very divinely guided and it's almost like divine timing. See, that's the thing is like sometimes it can feel like our alignment is off with spirit. Like what we see for ourselves in the timing that we see it, abundance, um, Spirit is like, yes, it's happening, but it's going to be happening in this time frame. And you're like, but I want it now, right? So then when spirit comes through with it and you're like, well, I've already kind of invested myself in this now or whatever. And spirit's like, you didn't have faith though. You should have not waited, but held the vision is almost what I'm getting. For some of you, something's coming back around that you you were ready for, but it wasn't presented to you when you were ready for it. But now that it's being presented to you, you're like, am I ready for it though? That's for some of y'all's fickle asses. What in the hell? That is for somebody's fickle behind out here, okay? All right, what else do we have for Gemini? Okay, guidance and additional messages, just general additional, additional, additional messages. We have tame and attain coming through, okay? And then immense growth. I always get this energy of like the chariot with this. So it's interesting that it came out um, because the tame and attain makes me feel like that's what you have to do with the chariot. Like you can't just throw some wild horses on there and be like, okay, now go, giddy up motherfucker right <laughs> you just not how horses work you have to train them you have to break them in a sense or i don't know i don't know that much about training horses i'm not a horse trainer but i'm sure that some could vouch it's actually a lot of work so you know and there's this energy of like needing to kind of gain that balance within yourself tame and attain the power within yourself so you can have this immense growth that's coming in and for some of you this is talking about your confidence because i don't know why this looks like one self-conscious fucking horse isn't he okay I guess I'll jump over that for you. I don't know. There's some kind of like energy of like life beating you down so hard that you're you're losing your spirit, Gemini. Don't ever fucking lose your spirit, bruh. I've been picking up on that in the most recent readings and it's pissing me off. Not because I'm mad at you. Just that because, you know, I, I see more for you than that. Like don't ever let anything break your spirit. Don't ever let anything break your spirit. 
Hell no, okay? What do we have for Gemini? Smile even though it's breaking. Smile even though it's aching. Smile, that song, okay? I don't like to sing that song because I just feel like a fool when I try to, but that's the song I'm getting. Victory, Gemini. That's what we got for you. That's the advice, toots, okay? Victory. What do they want you to do? Claim your power. That's exactly what I've been screaming this entire time, literally screaming at you for the last 26 minutes to claim your power. So please do that. Put that on your to-do list. I know it's your to-do list is like as long as your fucking arm here. Advice, please. And guidance. Small steps, big accomplishments, Gemini. And that's what I'm talking about. Like there's this energy of like taking small steps, allowing yourself to grow, allowing yourself to rest, allowing yourself to feel the letdown when things don't work out for you, but don't allow it to break you is kind of what I'm getting. Know that um, in the future, you're gonna be taking small steps, but getting big results, okay? When pigs fly, right? There is like a miracle, magical type of energy that I was picking up over here. I almost get the energy of like, you're going to find something where you're not going to have to do as much or put in as much effort as you thought, or it's going to give you more than what you're thinking. Or there could even be this energy of like money coming to you, a windfall of money, something coming in like, you know, a gift or an inheritance, winning something. For some of you that it has that vibe it ha and that's not for everybody, but it does have that vibe of like some, not with the small steps, like you don't have to work very hard to make big strides. You don't have to do the most to be the most. Like it's almost like that energy, Gemini. Like, you know, they're giving me the energy of like a good ribeye. And like really the only thing you need on a ribeye, guys, is salt and pepper, right? Cooked in butter, maybe garlic, of course. I love garlic. I put garlic on everything. So garlic is definitely going on my fucking ribeye. But I'm just saying, really all you need is like classic. You don't need barbecue sauce and Worcestershire and ketchup and ch red chili flakes and tear. And, and like, it's like you're doing too much. You're killing the meat. The ribeye is perfection on its own. It really doesn't need anything else. Sorry for the vegetarians, but I'm just saying, okay? So there's this energy of like, you don't have to do the most to be the most. You're a classic just as you are, Gemini. So take your steps and, and know that you're going to get big things out of them, even if they're not big steps, okay? All right. Anyways, I hope that helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.